Thank you, FedEx. Thank you, FedEx. Oh my goodness, everybody. So I, I, I don't know what you all think, but I think we live in some really exciting times as runners. I'm just reflecting back to my middle school and high school days, I 15, 20, you know, 15 years ago. The amount of running gear out there was so much smaller compared to now. Uh, even, for, you know, for example, running watches. Uh, I wore a Timex, no GPS for years, even in college at the University of Colorado. We just wore, we did not have GPS watches. So yes, the running shoe watches uh, testing continues today. Here's my, here's my Sun 25. There it is. Uh, enjoying it a lot. I'll give you my thoughts in the studio tonight. And, but even, yes, John G, uh, three inch split shorts. So you know how my, I actually have them on right now. I've got the uh, the five inch shorts from John G, but these are the split shorts. I will, oh, actually, well, why not? Let's just open these up for you. Oh man, look at that colorway. I kind of liked it. Look at that. It's just like a unique pattern. Uh, again, good for filming the bright yellow. Um, so anyway, there's some split three inch shorts from John G. Amazing. But in addition, think like, what did we have? We had Gatorade, Powerade, I'm talking like the early 2000s. I, in college, at the university, like we drank Gatorade on our long runs and middle distance runs. Um, we didn't have Tailwind. We didn't have, uh, what are the other, well, we didn't have Noon. That's what I've got here in this box, N-U-U-N. I bought this, um, gosh, maybe, maybe 10 days ago, so it took a little while to get here. But this is going to be my next testing for uh, my marathon training for Amsterdam, so there it is, N-U-U-N. I've tried, why can I not think of um, Noon? And then, oh yeah, uh, you can. That's the other uh, endurance drink that I've tried out, but here's Noon, N-U-U-N, so I'm excited to give this a shot uh, with all of you. Uh, so anyway, it's just exciting. We just live in exciting times when there's, a, now it can be overwhelming, so you gotta be careful. One last point, uh, real quick, is if I was in high school or college and I loved running a lot, and I wanted to be uh, working as a career in the running space, I think there's so much opportunity out there um, to work for all of these companies, uh, whether it's in media, whether it's in development, whether it's in testing, whether it's in uh, innovation, uh, marketing, um, even just you know the actual business side of, of accounting and leadership. Anyway, I don't know, I think it's exciting for what's ahead for us. Oh man, it gets me going. So, all right, getting uh, laced up here, doing, uh, doing my run, gonna get in the gym today and uh, stretch out more. Just putting my compression, compressed sport sleeves on. Listen, everyone, sometimes you nail the color coordination and sometimes you don't. Green, blue, purple, and orange. Oh, yeah. All right. We are laced up, ready to go. And I decide I'm calling an audible. I'm going to open the watch in the studio tonight, the second watch. I'm going to take out the Sun 25 today uh, only because I know, you know me and technology, it just takes me a long time to figure out new watches and I just don't have that time right now. So it's going to be a Sun 25 kind of day and then I'll open that up all with you tonight in the studio. All right, shall we rock and roll? Let's do this. There we go. I wore the calf sleeves today. Uh, almost done with the doms, but it's still there just a little bit. Solid run. All right, we're going to the gym. Maintenance, maintenance. P putting oil in the engine, putting air in the tires, uh, maybe tweaking the, uh, hmm, what else do you tweak on a car? The ge the, uh, the alternator, I almost said the generator. The alternator, all right, here we go.
All right, filming with the GoPro real quick. Just got home, there's a box, oh boy. But you know what? I know I, I get to open a lot of boxes. Uh, hun, I'm gonna let the boys, I'm gonna let the boys open this. I'm gonna bring it in. Here we go. So it's like, I just, you know, I'm just grateful, remain grateful in our lives with everything that's happening. And so I wanna spread, spread the love and let the boys, there it is, oh, I too love. Uh, let the boys, you wanna open this box? Oh, there they all are. We, we might need scissors. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Here we go. Hi! <laughs> Michael sees it. Michael's gone. Boys, I get to open a lot of boxes, yes, and I realize that you guys don't always get to open the boxes, so I want to give you a chance. I frankly don't know what is in here. Isn't that exciting? Yes, hold on, hold on. Let me. Ooh, sharp. Okay, should be. All right. You guys open. What's in there? Pull them out. Oh, it's not shoes. Oh, my God. Hoka, the new Hoka Slides 2, baby. I actually got my, what do you guys think? Pretty crazy, huh? Papa gets some sandals for recovery. This is all about recovery. You're gonna put that on your head for a hat? <laughs> boom, bada bing. Bada you gotta use your imagination. Bada boom. Bada something bing. fun to do. So I got my, I got my Hoka Slides 1 on. You know how I use these for recovery. And, uh, and Michael's excited. Michael's excited. You excited? You wanna say hi? Oh, oh, should we open them? Let's open them. Here, watch, watch, watch. Oh, open those, pull those out. Pull those down. All right, love you all, and um, we'll see you in the studio. All right, folks, out with the old and in with the new. The Hoka Slide 1s are being retired. Hoka Slide 2s are on my feet right now. And as a 30 plus year old, I'm not so certain I'd be able to train at 100 miles a week with a lot of vertical without the sh uh, sandals, I should say, on my feet. They just help. I have some old man pains getting out of bed in the morning and I don't know, I, I literally get out of bed and put them on my feet immediately. Now, I do believe walking around your house barefoot is good. It's important to help fire different muscles in your feet, but a lot of the times you will find me in these Hoka slides, Hoka sandals, just to help alleviate those pressure points, uh, the tenderness, the soreness, all of that good stuff that arises when you go out and run 13 miles like today in the Ultra Timp 1.5s at 740 per mile, 21 kilometers at 445 per uh, kilometer. So it was a solid day. And yes, I did wear the Sun 2.5 today. So this is my uh, marathon training watch right now. I love this watch because it's lightweight. It's pretty simple, okay? It's not the high, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles in the Sun 2 lineup. Um, and I did finally figure out how to turn the heart rate off because as you know, I don't train by heart rate. Um, I will say, out of the last five weeks of training, I've only lost GPS signal once while wearing this watch up on a mountain, okay? So that is good. I'd consider that a pretty good track record because that's really, like I wanna be able to share my runs with all of you through Strava and so, and share like the maps. That's what I love about Strava or looking at all the maps of where all of you are running. Um, so that's my number one priority with a GPS watch is just being able to track accurate courses and trails and uh, all of that. So it's done well, but now it's time to move on to the next watch to test out for all of you. That's right, arrived today. Let me just make sure I can open this box safely. Right, right everybody, huh? So there we go. All right, I got it open. Are you ready for this? One, the next running watch in the line. One, two, and three, the Polar Vantage 5, that's right going with Polar now. Now remember everyone, I don't know about you, I remember in the late 90s, early 2000s, Polar, correct me if I'm wrong, but Polar was creating um, chest heart rate monitors. And very few, but some, uh, some of your teammates or some of your coaches maybe had these heart rate monitors. And it was kind of cool because uh, it was technology, like this is way before GPS watches. It was technology that could track your heart rate. I don't know, I believe it was Polar that was blazing the trails, so it's good to see them kind of back in the game. I feel, I feel like Garmin and Sun2 have really dominated the running uh, GPS watch market as of late, but frankly, uh, Polar 
and now Koros is frankly, I'd say, making a resurgence, at least from what I can see on Strava and different places. So, all right, let's open this up for you right now. Oh my goodness, look at that packaging, I like it. Okay, here we go, it's this way, ready? One, two, and three, there it is, there's the face, oh yeah. Look at that, looking snazzy. Okay, so here's what I know about the Polar Vantage 5. Basically, it obviously tracks your heart rate. Now, I am not going to use that for training, but I will do a lot of testing, uh, more so than the Sun 2.5, with respect to how accurate is the heart rate tracking on the uh, Polar Vantage 5. But here's what's crazy. Supposedly, and I don't know, if there's any Polar fans out there, let me know down in the comments, supposedly, Simply by putting the Vantage 5 on your wrist, you are able to track your power. So there's, uh, there's foot pods and sensors that you can put on your shoes when you're running to track your power meter. Now, I've never done this before, but apparently the Vantage 5 from Polar does not need a foot pod or a sensor to track your power meter. How it does that, I do not know. Don't quote me on that. I haven't tested it yet. But that, if it's true, and if it's accurate, that's pretty exciting in my book. So I'm kind of intrigued to see what kind of power meter numbers I create up in the 14ers. I don't know, it just is fascinating to me, a little beyond outside my wheelhouse, but we will give it a test for all of you. Also, I think it's pretty cool that the app, the Polar Flow app uh, that connects to your watch can then be really easily integrated with your coach. So if you have a coach, uh, you might wanna talk to them about the Polar lineup because I guess the integration between online data, uh, between your watch, your coach, and online data is very seamless. So your coach can, if you don't live in the same city, which happens a lot these days where you hire a coach outside of your city, uh, can see what runs you're doing that day almost like instantaneously as soon as you stop running. So that is pretty amazing, the PowerFlow app. I don't have a coach, I'm my own coach, but if you do have a coach, something to research on your end for Polar. Okay, uh, let's see, what else? So far, just putting it on the wrist feels very comfortable. Uh, gosh, it looks very, like, you, you know when you pick something up, when it's technology, you can just sense that there's some extra uh, TLC put into the construction. I'm sensing that immediately holding this in my, like, it, like I'm not just saying that, um, I, can, I can sense it immediately, uh, no pun intended, with all of the sensors on the back to get your heart rate. Wow, I'm just soaking it in real quick. Okay, everyone, polar is the keyword question of the day. Not to do directly with watches, but you can go there if you want. I remember I, two weeks ago I asked if you could represent a particular running company through your, uh, through your racing, what running company would it be? Or be an ambassador through your running. Some people chose running shoe companies, some people chose uh, energy gels, some people chose watches or local running shoe stores. Now, the next question of the day that I'm really interested in, um, and it connects to what I was talking about earlier today, is if you had the choice, if you could make a decision and, and, and work for any running company in the entire world, what, what company would it be and why? So we're talking watches, we're talking running shoes, outerwear, uh, on online companies like Strava. Um, for me, I would probably have to lean toward a company in the Alps like Raid Light or Solomon or La Sportiva or somewhere over in the Alps for a little bit of mountain goodness, but I'm fascinated to hear if you could choose one company to work for as a career, what company would it be and why? All right, all right, everybody, there you go. Polar Vantage 5, I will put it through the paces for all of you as soon as possible and get you my full review as soon as possible as well. All right, thanks for being there. Big day in the mountains tomorrow, come back for that. And I just love you and uh, we just keep marching on toward this Amsterdam Marathon and uh, gosh, Less than 40 days to go, less than 40 days. And oh, I'm cheering you all on who's racing Chicago and Berlin as well. Those are right around the corner, so that's exciting. And if you wanna dive deeper into running watches on the right, we're gonna put up the Sun 2.5 unboxing vlog from about a month ago. 
And then about two months ago, bringing up the topic of running watches in general on the left. All right, there it is, folks. Another day, another day. See beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.